In 2012, ISB developed its 2020 vision, which has served us well. But 2020 is rapidly approaching, and the world is changing at an even faster pace than we have ever anticipated. We therefore believe that it is time to review our progress and see whether we need to make any course corrections. Our initial conversations last semester were prompted by questions raised as we started to look at our branding and identity in preparation for a more active approach to marketing ISB in an increasingly competitive and shrinking market. Who are we? What do we stand for? Why do we consider ourselves the premier school in Thailand? We started looking at the values that define ISB's culture and to form the foundation of our social emotional learning initiative. We also looked at our visual identity, how we betray ourselves to the outside world. We have almost completed the work in these two areas and we are sharing that work on this site to solicit your feedback. However, this still doesn't answer some fundamental questions. Why should parents send their kids to ISB? What are we great at and what do we need to preserve? What is changing in the world around us and how is education responding to those changes? Are we keeping up? When we envision ISB in 2025, how should we prepare our students for this new world? What is going to set ISB apart and maintain its premier position in Thailand? With this in mind, we invited a core team of administrators and faculty to review our journey thus far and start the initial thinking about where we should be going based on our R&D visits over the last three years. We invited Chris Jansen, a strategic change consultant from New Zealand, to work with us and provide a framework to guide our conversations. We are now ready to engage the rest of our community in these conversations. This website is designed to help us share the process and thinking solicit your input and feedback, and engage you in the dialogue. We're using a process based on appreciative inquiry, which values the things we do well and helps us to aspire to greater things. There are four distinct phases in the process. The first phase is about discovery. Who is ISB and what do we do particularly well? You can help us by sharing a story. Imagine you are in a social gathering and someone asks you to tell one story about ISB which illustrates why it deserves its reputation as the premier school in Thailand. What would your story be? Please share it with the community. It doesn't need to be long, and we recommend that you don't name individuals. Give your story a title in terms of one descriptive word that sums up what your story is about. Our next phase is to dream. It is time to look forward and to dream about the future. What is shifting in the world around us, and how might this impact our students and the type of education they need? In August, we will be asking you to share one article or artifact that has caught your attention about the future of education. We have set up a Flipboard page on this site for you to share these. At the August PD Day, you will be asked to share your artifact with colleagues and explain why you think it is relevant to this conversation. We will synthesize all the information to develop the emerging themes that will guide the next phase. The third phase is about design. What should ISB look like in 2025? We are our own architects, so what do we want this school to be, to look like, to feel like? In September, we will share the work from the first two phases and ask you to imagine what the school will look like when you come back to visit in 2025. What will our students need and how will ISB be supporting them? Your input will help us to frame our final phase, destiny, in the form of our keystone documents. We anticipate that the main changes will be in terms of a new vision statement and our defined values. We don't expect the mission statement and definition of learning to change much, although some of the language may need to be updated. For example, we are now about learning rather than teaching. Our target is to launch the updated Keystone documents in February of 2017, but we'll share drafts and solicit feedback in between. We welcome your views and input through this process And this site provides opportunities for us to share our work with you and for you to provide feedback.